time now for our trader game, Top That Trade. Joining us right now, Phil Flynn of Fox Business Network contributor and Alan Neckman of Agora Financial. Here we go, guys. Round number one, too many traders. There's a record number of retail trading going on during the pandemic. What lessons do you have for the newbies or what lessons are you learning from them? Some people are looking at for this as entertainment or excitement. Uh, try not to look at it that way. Look at it as, as a business. And what I've learned is it's the perfect business. Um, and also, day traders, you know, it's not as glamorous as you might think. Try and look to be more swing traders so you can look at things for days or weeks or even months and not be tied to your computer. There's an old saying that I used to say is that day trading is for show, but position trading is for the dough, right? And that doesn't mean you shouldn't day trade, but most day traders, I'm just going to let you in on a little secret. Shh, don't tell anybody. Lose money over the long run. Round number two is a game within a game. It's called MFN. Maybe for sure or no way. We're talking gold going down, GE with the best record rally in November, or treasuries near 1%. Pick one. What we saw earlier this year, believe it or not, was an exodus of gold so people could buy cryptocurrencies and, and risk risk assets. A lot of people believe, you know, there's even commercials on the air right now about people saying, why would you buy gold when you can buy a cryptocurrency? So there is that kind of environment that believes that maybe gold is an old school risk risk uh, investment. GE's had a huge move. It went from six to 12. So I'm not good with math, but that doubled in a couple of months. Uh, so the risk reward may not be great there, even though there's more upside. I do like gold the best, but I like G-O-L-D, which is a symbol for Barrett Gold. Barrett Gold's been, been between 20 and 30, and it's about 23 right now, so you can lean on that 20 level. On to round number three, mall rats rake it in. Short sellers made $2 billion on the mall fall. What wrecked retailer do you believe can make a comeback? So, I mean, I, I don't know how, uh, how you can make malls hip and cool again like they were in the 80s and 90s when I was a kid. So... Uh, that's a whole different thing. But I was looking at XRT, which is the retail ETF, and that has doubled, more than doubled from 30 to 60. So a lot of those stocks have already boomed and taken off. The stock I like that hasn't is down 30% in 2020. It's not actually in the mall, but there's always a Walgreens just outside the mall. So I like Walgreens. The PE is eight. So it's an inexpensive stock that's been left behind. You know, when I think of, you know, the malls, you know, the holiday season, you know, you think of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And this is a stock that I've consistently liked when it is broken. And and one of the reasons is it still pays an incredible dividend. And, um, you know, every time the market breaks hard on the stock, it's been a buy. It gets a nice little pop. You know, if you're a swing trader, it's been one of the best swing trader stock. But I think it's even a buy and hold stock. We are staying with the retail theme for the bonus round today. Can you name the retailer that is ending its catalog? You there know, was a Sears, I, I went my the Sears catalog. For Sears. Right. Uh, I ended Sears. up getting coal, so I became an energy analyst. So that's how I start, got my start. So, so uh, the answer which, which is IKEA. Uh, I know that. I read that yesterday, but IKEA is not publicly traded. <laughs> Uh, there you go. I'm going to go with Alan because I didn't read it and I didn't have an idea. So I'm going to go with <laughs> Ikea too. The answer is Ikea after 70 years. And guys, that was like a walk down memory lane with you right now. Business First AM continues right after this. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.